Now, we're going to get into using speed lights in live music photography. And this is something you can do usually when you only have all access, you're shooting for the promoter, you're shooting for the band, and you have this special access to place remote flashes, speed lights, around the stage to either supplement or augment uh, or replace stage lighting. You know, and if you're shooting a small tour, a small band in a really you know, divey venue, the lighting may be very poor. It may not be sufficient to, for you to capture the images you want to capture. Using speed lights can allow you to either create the lighting you want, um, and it, again, supplement or replace stage lighting. You know, and the two main strategies, either mimicking the house lighting, um, and this is positioning speed lights where the lights already are in a venue. So if it's in the, you know, the rack front of house um, position, kind of up and above in front of the band, at the, at the rear, kind of using the existing lighting trusses almost, um, if you can't have access to those, or otherwise placing the lights where you would expect them to be. The second strategy would be making the lighting you want. One thing I love doing is putting a speed light under the drum kit because when you have that effect, it lights the drummer up, it makes the drum kit look like it's glowing and can create for a really dynamic shot. Here's that uh, shot of the Dillinger escape plan. And for this, I had a flash that was just kind of off um, camera to the right. And here I was trying to balance between the stage lighting and having a little bit of um, speed light light to just kind of pop the subject out and provide a little contrast. You can see that on his face and on his hand on the neck of the guitar. It's a little more contrast because the lighting was so warm it had a more uniform look. This is a shot of the band Under Oath and this is at a small venue at Pops in Soja, Illinois. A venue I shot at a lot when I was coming up as a music photographer and the lighting can be really, really rough at this venue. And for this show I think they were using a lot of strobe lights actually. And you can see if you look in this image None of the stage lights are lit up. So this is an instance where it's lit entirely by speed light. There's a, a light that is stage right, you can see, and then a light that was um, behind, or the, underneath the drum kit, and then I believe another light that was stage left um, that's lighting up Spencer here. Um, and it's another opportunity using speed lights to freeze motion like you are here, because I'm not mixing ambient and the speed lights, I can shoot and because the the flash duration is so short, it's going to freeze that motion if I'm shooting um, even in just one two hundredth of a second at the sync speed. So this is uh, Bauer, this photo for, uh, for Red Bull. Um, and again, this is a, a small venue in New York and it wasn't, um, it wasn't tremendously well lit, but I am balancing the lighting of the venue and speed light. So this was a speed light right behind Bauer and because of the haze in the venue, um, it kind of lit up the shot pretty, pretty nicely. And I love working in venues where we have that haze for the production and the speed lights is kind of like, you know, lighted up and kind of was like blossoms in the background, which is a really beautiful effect. This is an artist who's photographed Babies All Right in New York and in Brooklyn. And an instance where I was trying to balance the natural stage lighting and just supplement a little because the front lighting was very minimal. And Babies has this beautiful LED wall at the back where these um, kind of glass fixtures that light up, change colors, and um, I wanted to preserve that. And so this was an instance of just kind of dialing the light in so that the exposure for the backlighting for those lights and the exposure on the performer were balanced. And this is a single light that was just stage right. This is the Dillinger escape plan again, and an instance where I was using one light that's positioned behind the symbol, and I, because shooting with a flash directly into the lens might produce lens flare or undesired effects, it's, this is an example of kind of hiding the flash in between an object and the lens where you can still get the benefit of flash without any of the negative effects like flare or ghosting, etc. Again, this is um, the same venue in Brooklyn, Baby's All Right, and an instance where I'm balancing the ambient light and stage lighting. Here, the light levels were a little lower, so you can see a little motion blur and a kind of like color shift um, on the fingertips, especially here. Um, but without this front lighting, it would have been a much more challenging shoot that wouldn't result in the kind of impact you have in this photo. And so an instance of just kind of popping the subject out using a little bit of flash. Again, Baby's Art, this is Lion Babe, um, shot at a Red Bull Sound Select. And here, the lighting, again, was from the front, really minimal, and so using a speed light that was 
position in front of house, um, just for a little bit of accent, was enough to get that definition that I wanted and enough for that contrast um, against the background. This is Skrillex. This is part of his, um, his takeover series in Brooklyn and an instance where shooting for um, the sponsor had full access of the stage. He was able to place a speed light behind uh, Sunny here and have it look pretty natural still and kind of like an effect you might have um, as part of the regular production. But because there was almost no front lighting, like such a key element, and there's a flash both behind Sunny and then also uh, front of house to give a little front lighting. And here's another example from the same show, um, kind of look, showing a wider um, kind of view. And again, there wasn't really much front lighting here. You have a disco wall that's being illuminated. Uh, this is shot with a Nikon 14 to 24. Um, right in with the crowd, as you see, there's no photo pit. Um, but an instance where having the ability to play speed lights into the production was a real lifesaver in coming away with, with usable images for the client. Another instance of you know, just balancing speed lights and the ambient production. Um, trying to capture and, and keep that blue light in the background while just having a little bit of kind of edge lighting. You have a light both from stage right and stage left. Um, and in the background, you can see that these amps are lit up a little more than they usually would. That's kind of a, a casualty of speed lights and kind of having lights splash around a little bit more. You can kind of shape it to a certain extent, but you have to be mindful of how it's hitting the stage and, and so forth. And here's another instance shot for Red Bull again. This is a sound select, and this was in the basement of a venue, and there was almost no lighting. Uh, you can see there's like a drop ceiling. It's like it was, it was like a really almost like yeah, it's like kind of a cool like cult venue, and um, it was a tough show, and if I hadn't been using speed lights, there would not have been an image to walk away with from this performance. And you can see, I was dragging the shutter. You can see the, the light streaks here, um, even from the exit sign and the, the lights that were there. Um, but an instance of speed lights really saving the day and allowing me to come away with a unique photo um, that otherwise would have been a real challenge. And again, I love shooting with speed lights and haze. It's just a beautiful effect when, um, where the haze can pick up that light beautifully and kind of create these kind of like light beams and like dimensional effects. And here's another instance from the same show just showing that you know, this is like a hugely atmospheric show and having, you can see the speed lights pretty clearly. There's one under the drum kit, there's two at the back of the stage um, kind of at about 45 um, pointing in and just creating this very hazy atmospheric effect um, by lighting up that haze.